Hello everyone, Gabriel here, and today we are going to learn about IntelliTags and how to create IntelliTag lists. There are two ways we can create IntelliTag lists on Chronoscan. We can either let the program create it automatically for us, or we can manually create our lists and entries. For the first example, I will just let the program create it for us, and I will capture that fax number right here. First step is to click on the field, on the fax field on this case, and then select the IntelliTag Search tool. Next, I will just select the tags I want to use as IntelliTag. That dialog is asking me to create a list that will be assigned to the field fax. If I click yes, I will be able to name the IntelliTag list. If we are capturing documents with a lot of different languages, we want to have a prefix to the IntelliTag list telling us about the name of the entries in it, and then we can follow up with the field name. I'll click OK, and then we are taken to the window to create our first IntelliTag entry. I'll just leave it as nearest code and then click OK. Now we can see the result of our IntelliTag and we can see it is successfully capturing the entire fax number. The other way to create IntelliTag lists is by manually creating them. I will go into the Administration tab and then click on the IntelliTags Administration button. On here, we can create and remove IntelliTag lists and entries. On this case, this is the one we just created. I will click on Create List, and again, we'll name it as American English and Phone Number. I will click OK, and now our list will be found on the IntelliTag lists. Here I can add entries or disable them, remove them, and then change their options. I'll just click on Close, go back into the Scan Input tab, and open the document we want to capture. On this case, the phone right here. Before we start using the IntelliTag, we have to click on the field we want to use that list with, open its properties, go down on the list, and then select on here the correct IntelliTag list. On this case, American phone number. Now you'll be able to see that the list we just created is here. We just need to add an entry. Usually the best way to add an entry is by selecting again the field, selecting the IntelliTag search button, and then highlighting the entry we want. Now I will just leave it as nearest code as well, and then click OK. And we can see the phone number was captured. Once more, for the email field, we can just use the automatic method. I will create a new list, again American English and the field name, and then create the first entry. This one could be phrase at right, and then we click on OK, and we see the results. And that's it. That's how we create IntelliTag lists and entries. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.